Welcome to the Insurance Brokers Podcast Helpful Hints. Here we break down the best, most informative bits of our full-length interviews. The other question I would have, and it goes back to what we said earlier about, so Lloyd seemed to be building a number of, quote, platforms. So again, in, in our new Zoom-enabled world, if we assume that there might be less face-to-face business done and therefore we need to make it slicker to get a range of quotes, as I understand your portal, like, like, like most insurer portals, if I'm a broker, I've got to sit and put it into yours and then into four of us <laughs> to get five quotes. Yeah. Um, do you have any plans? Does it make any sense, commercial sense, for you to be on a platform whereby they fill in your front end, but then that goes to five different suppliers and they take the best quote kind of thing? I mean, with that, when you're dealing with lots of different providers, the, the issue that you you generally find there is that there is there's always going to be specific questions that that insurer wants to know, that insurance, and they're never going to be exactly the same. So then you get back into that remit of the really lengthy question sets to satisfy every single one of the people that's going to be um, providing quotes on the platform so at this point um, I wouldn't rule anything out to be perfectly honest but for now I think it's it's wise for us to stick with um, working with one particular provider in the future who knows I mean but for now if we to meet our remit which was to reduce question sets save time be able to deliver something really quick and slick and work in partnership um, with our capacity provider as well as the the brokers. I thought it was quite we thought it was quite important to focus with the the one initially. But yeah, I, I can totally see that would be a good well, thing within Lloyd's. Just approaching it from the other end, so that's that you want one capacity provider enabled you to produce a limited question set. But would you put your product on? one of these platforms so somebody could put in perhaps a slightly bigger question set but it would still suck a quote out of yours as well as out of three or four others and they've only put it in once i mean obviously i mean we already do to be fair oh, really? yeah. well then we all, we already perform on a platform with, um we call that a bespoke deal because we then have to build to their question set which limits yeah. the mm-hmm. amount of risk that we can actually write um so yeah we do we do have other facilities and schemes that are live on other people on a broker's own platform and as well as one where it provides multiple quotes but yeah again you're only restricted in terms of what they ask and so if they don't ask the question and you can't um, apply your rates and rules to it in that instance we have to decline risk where we could probably write them if they just changed the format of or style of the question but again it's that particular platform the questions are quite lengthy because it's satisfying say nine different providers that oh, yeah. provide quotes on it so so yeah it's a fine line um if that could be standardized somehow I, I and i almost think that's the skill of what giles and that's done in building this platform of um really really streamlining and making it more seamless 